This summer, a gallery tech behind the High Line in Chelsea is hosting a backlash to the war on women. Whether or not artists buy into the rhetoric of the Democrats, they all recognize something is amiss in women's rights in the United States today. Jen Deerdorf, director of the Soho 20, says it was the first exhibit of its kind for the artist-run New York Gallery. Somebody came up with the idea of doing something that was sort of not dancing around those topics, but like really confronting it straight on. Over 180 artists participated in the unjuried exhibit. The idea for this was to sort of, it wasn't about the individuality of the artist as much as it was about the solidarity of the fact that we all care about this issue. Since the dawn of the second wave of feminism in the United States, the rules of political football over women's issues haven't changed much. I mean, there's still certainly a lot of issues that, you know, either the same issue that actually, it's the, literally the same issue that keeps getting drug out back and forth, like abortion or um, health care um, or equal pay. I mean, there's like, some of those things are just kind of mind-boggling that they haven't, that people actually have voted to not pay women equally for the same jobs that they're doing. In June, Republican senators effectively blocked the Paycheck Fairness Act, saying it would be too much of a burden on employers. Economist-turned-artist Susan Nagy believes the wage gap has actually worsened for American women. Nagy believes lack of parity in wages can be attributed to lack of reproductive health choices. This may change, as the Affordable Care Act now ensures women have access to contraceptives without out-of-pocket costs. However, this provision continues to face legal challenges by states and Catholic organizations. This is a very, very difficult subject because politically it's not supported. The Republicans don't like this subject at all. As a result, a new generation of artists continue to confront the issue in new media, including graffiti artist Gilf. The familiar themes of reproductive rights and equal wages came up for these artists simply because these discrepancies still exist. But artist Estelle Levy, also featured in the exhibit, believes the category of women's issues has taken on a myopic lens. The economy, you know, they think the economy belongs to men and it's their decision and their concern. The economy is a women's issue. Ms. Levy very much looks forward to the outcome of this fall's election, hoping to see more women elected to make better decisions. For now, a mix of fact and rhetoric continues to fuel the war on women, and Backlash will be fighting those narratives at the Soho 20 Gallery until August 11th.